lovelies, I hope you're all well. Today I'll be doing a quick tutorial for this look. It's only two weeks to go till Valentine's Day. Just because I always feel like it's very hard at Valentine's Day, you want to wear a nice sultry kind of look, but you want to keep it still girly and not too full on like dark eyes, nude lips. So I decided to go for something in the middle with a very light lid and then just a defined crease. So it's still very feminine and in my opinion it's not too over the top either, still pretty. And then quite a natural pink lip because you don't want to be wearing anything too light or too dark, you know, if you're, there's going to be any kisses going on. I hope you guys enjoy this look and stay tuned for the tutorial. So let's begin with our other eye. Now I've already got Urban Decay Prime Potion as usual on my eye. And now for a base I'm going to use a white Coastal Sense gel liner. I'm just picking that up with a very small lip brush from the body shop and I'm going to paint it quite sparingly over the lid. Now this just provides a really nice light base for the eyeshadow. Sometimes I find it very difficult for like colours to show up on my skin tone because I am quite pale. So putting a white base underneath really makes the shadow appear the same colour as it is in the pan on my eye. And then what I do is just take my ring finger and just kind of pat over it. Just make sure that there's no ridges and it's all very smooth. Now for my pink, I'm using a cheap palette that I got off eBay. If you have a Coastal Scents palette, then just use any light pink. The colour I'm using is right here. So you can see it's a really powdery, light, blue-based pink. Now these shadows are quite poorly pigmented and awful quality. I just bought them so that I don't have to buy like proper full-size shadows of some colours that I hardly ever use. So it serves its purpose, but it does require a little bit of work as there's a lot of fallout and they are pretty chalky. So if you do want to buy a palette similar to this one, this came in the set of two actually, off eBay, just be aware that it, because they are cheap and um, you know mass produced, they're not of the highest quality. Now we're going to start going in with the grey. For this I'm going to be using Scene from MAC very light grey colour right there, just taking the tiniest amount and starting off in the crease really lightly just to kind of define the shape that I want and place that initial colour down so that later we can build up from it. So you have something that looks kind of like that, you see how it kind of wings up at the end, I always like to do that there just to elongate the eye and also it um, opens it up a little bit as well. Now I'm going on to my 226 brush, I'm picking up more scene and I'm going to start darkening up that crease. The reason I'm using the same colour before I use a darker one is just so I have a slightly more defined edge to work with. I don't want to put the darker colour and realise I've put it too far down and then have to try and blend it all out. So because this brush is very tapered at the end it makes it very easy to get a nice cut crease with it. Now I'm going to take the colour print which is this dark grey here, you can see it's quite well loved, um, with the same brush, just a little bit. And we're going to use that to define the edge and darken it up. Now at the top what I'm going to do is add a little bit of quarry, just that colour right there. And this is just going to warm it up a little bit because it is a brown rather than a grey. Help us blend and just create some nice transition. Now I'm going to take a little bit of um, the scene on a 219 and just put it underneath the eye and then we're going to add our highlight and that's going to be Max Vanilla once again which looks like that and to really blend it we don't want the look to be too dark so if you've gone up too high this is a good point to really blend that colour down now I'm just going to take Yo Yo and Urban Decay Pencil and put that in my waterline. This will help to open up the eye because we do have some dark colours in there. And you want to look, you know, awake and bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> For my um, liner I'm using L'Oreal's uh, Super Liner Carbon Gloss. We're starting off, I'm looking down into my mirror and I'm just placing it kind of flat and just dragging the end along my lash line like this. I'm going to do the same, so I've done from the middle to the outer edge, and I'm going to do the same in the inner corner. I 
And dragging it like that instead of going straight on just gives you a really smooth line. Like that. Then I'm going to start, just check what the other eye looks like and start flicking out. Corner. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just as long as you have kind of a line there and then you kind of go back and connect it. So it's all smooth you can see. Sorry guys, um, my camera decided to run out of battery and I didn't realise. Um, but all I've done is just put on a little bit of mascara and some Revlon lashes. And then on my cheeks I'm wearing Well Dressed Blush, which is a really light pink. You can see it's very well loved. And on my lips I'm wearing a Rose Romance lipstick, which is a nice pink. And then I've topped that off with a very light gloss just to peel it out a little bit. And that's Trifle Lip Gloss from MAC. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all soon. Bye.